Dominica's journey to energy resilience began in the 1980s with studies of surface manifestations in the Roseau Valley. Continuing with those efforts, in December 2009, the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica set up a geothermal project management unit within the then Ministry of Public Utilities, Energy and Ports to lead the activities relating to exploration of our geothermal capabilities. Using grants totaling 5.5 million euros, in addition to local funding, Dominica drilled three exploratory wells to confirm the quantity and quality of the resource in the Roseau Valley. Test well one, located at the aerial tram property, was dug to a depth of 1,200 meters. Test well two, located on the Wharton Waven Trafalgar Link Road, to a depth of 1,469 meters. And test well three, located near Domlex Balancing Tank in Loda, drilled to a depth of 1,605 meters. Success. A reliable resource was confirmed, and shortly after, a study exploring the viability of a small power plant was commissioned using grant funding from the French development agency, the AFD, concluding that the reservoir's potential was up to 120 megawatts. To further the process, a concessionary loan from the AFD allowed for the drilling of a reinjection well which reached a depth of 1,915 meters and also a production well, which showed the capacity to output approximately 11.4 megawatts of electricity. In 2016, the government of Dominica established the Dominica Geothermal Development Company, DGDC, to undertake all activities related to geothermal development in Dominica. Its main priority is the construction of a geothermal power plant in the community of Loda that will feed more renewable energy into the national grid. In order for this to come to fruition, the DGDC has ensured that an environmental and social impact study of the proposed power plant and reinjection route was conducted by Jacobs of New Zealand followed by public consultations on the non-technical summary as it related to the further development of the geothermal product. These documents have since been disclosed on the DGDC and World Bank websites. Geotechnical investigations of the proposed sites have been carried out. Plans for the undergrounding of transmission lines were implemented, keeping in line with the commitment to construct in a more climate-resilient manner after the disastrous effects of Hurricane Maria. Responsibly adhering to the laws of Dominica and World Bank operational policies on resettlement and livelihood restoration, all efforts have been made to ensure that the affected communities are not left worse off than before the project was implemented. Moving forward, Land acquisition for the power plant and reinjection lines is expected to begin late 2018, with landowners being assured that compensation will be made before any physical works commence. The power purchase agreement between DGDC and Domlek is near completion and will then be submitted to the IRC for approval. Following the acceptance of the bid documents by the World Bank, the construction of the first ever geothermal power plant in Dominica will begin and the promise of clean, green energy will become a reality, leaving Dominica well on our way to achieving energy independence, utilizing the renewable resources available.